the middle. Touchdown, Louisiana. Gloomy skies could not dampen the excitement of the beginning of the Billy Napier era and the 18th annual Herbert Hyman Classic. Look at the Raging Cajun sharp-dressed men making their way through the Cajun walk. Coach Napier choosing to play both quarterbacks in this one, Andre Nunez and Levi Lewis, scheduled to take snaps, and they would not disappoint. Nine months of buildup for this one, nearly 29,000 in attendance for the Raging Cajuns and the Grambling State Tigers. Let's get to the highlights. The Raging Cajuns a little anxious out of the gate, going three and out in their first possession. The Arias Christmas sacks Andre Nunez, forcing the punt. The Tigers would get on the board first. Jeremy Hickbottom with a 47-yard pass to Quentin Geis to the Cajuns' 10-yard line. But the Raging Cajuns' defense stiffens to hold the Tigers to a field goal. Ensuing possession, Nunez and the offense start to click. Nunez hits Raheem Malone on the screen, Malone with a shake and bake and a gain of 19. Then Trey Regis finds some daylight behind the offensive line, taking it 31 yards to the Grambling four-yard line. Then Regis with some assistance from the Hogs. Caps an eight play, 81 yard drive to give Louisiana a 7-3 lead. Now at 14-3, Levi Lewis rolls to his left and finds Jamal Bell in the end zone for his first touchdown reception as a raging Cajun. And the Cajuns take a 21-3 lead. Next Louisiana drive, Regis bouncing off of Grambling Tigers and he would take it 47 yards deep into Tiger territory. Two plays later, Nunez caps the drive with an eight yard touchdown pass to Jamarcus Bradley. Bradley's second touchdown reception of the game and the Cajuns take a 28-3 lead. Ensuing Grambling possession, Jeremy Hickbottom can't find a receiver open. He scrambles and finds a lane. Off he goes for 52 yards into Raging Cajuns territory. Four plays later, Hickbottom with a seven yard touchdown run and it trims the Cajuns lead to 28-10. But the Cajuns would answer the Grambling score just before halftime. Andre Nunez scrambling and goes airborne for the four-yard touchdown run, and the Cajuns extend the lead to 35-10 at the half. First drive of the second half, Levi Lewis puts the Cajuns on the board again with a 10-play, 98-yard drive. Lewis hits tight end Matt Barnes in the flat and Barnes does the rest for the senior's first career touchdown. Andre Nunez completes 19 of 22 passes on the day to set a school record for completion percentage, and the Cajuns rack up 556 yards of total offense on their way to a convincing 49-17 win over Grambling. To perform, you need speed, skill, strength. With every muscle, every move, you push your body to reach its full potential. But sometimes, you just can't push through the pain. That's when you know it's time to address it. So when injury puts you on the sidelines, trust us to get you back in the game. Lord Sports Care, the team behind your team. We are giving out free stuff for the first day of school. Do you have a planner? You want a donut? There it is. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Donuts and planners. We're out here handing out donuts, biscuits, fruit, planners to the best students in America. First day of school. I'm ready to go to class. Eight o'clock. I got donuts and planners. Best way to start your day. Hot and fresh. These are room temperature. Okay. If you want an A on the first day of class, give an apple to your professor and be sure to get an A. That's the secret code. Like that. <laughs> Have a good first day. Got to start your day the right way with some sugary glazed deliciousness. There it is. Have a great day. Come on, come on, come on, Dougie. Donuts and planners, guys. Donuts and planners.
And welcome back to Inside Louisiana Football. I'm Darren Walker here with Coach Billy Napier for our weekly one-on-one -on -one conversation. And Coach, uh, from a personal side, just talk about coming out of that tunnel for the first time and getting win number one under your belt. Well, I tell you what, it's, um, to me it's a big deal because we put a lot of time and effort into it, not only our players but our staff, our support staff. And we've got lots of working parts with the university um, and, you know, just to see the hard work pay off for all those people and our players in particular, I was pleased with that. You started last week's press conference with a question. You wanted to know who we were as a football team and you wanted to get an identity started. So what did you learn about your guys Saturday night? Well, I think we, we've had a good off season. You know, I think that the intangibles that we've been emphasizing from an effort, discipline, toughness standpoint, what type of competitors we are, how we respond to adversity. Uh, we, did, we did a lot of those things well for the most part. Now, at times, I thought we slipped, uh, but we've got a good group of kids that are willing to uh, do it our way. Yeah, you mentioned slipping. Uh, seemed to have a couple anxious moments there in the beginning. Grambling gets out to a 3 nothing lead, but then come right back and score 28 unanswered points and take a 28-3 lead. Well, it's one of the positives of the game is that we, did, we were presented some adversity early in the game. Uh, to go three and out, you know, to give up a big play. Uh, but then our defense settled in and got a stop, which I thought was a real positive in the game. We forced a field goal early. Uh, and then once we got the ball back, we got it rolling on offense. So overall, uh, good to see us respond in that situation. 556 total yards of offense. Um, you talked a lot last week about how you were going to get a lot of guys involved. And uh, you got to showcase a lot of weapons out there. Mm -hmm. Well, we, I tell you, at UL right now, we've got a great group of skill players. Um, and we're fortunate enough, I think, to be good enough at quarterback where we can distribute the ball. Um, we pushed the tempo, which I thought was very effective in this game. Uh, but that's one of the strengths of this team. This group of skill players that we have is really electric. So I think it's going to be fun to watch the rest of the year. Obviously, the biggest question surrounding the program all spring and the summer and camp was the quarterback position. Uh, both Andre and Levi got snaps. They both played well. Andre was 19 out of 22, accounted for three touchdowns. Levi threw two touchdown passes. Just talk about the way that all played out for you. I think as a, as a in the quarterback room, we want to think of throwing the ball just like we rush the ball. You know, I say to those guys, uh, you know, it's as simple as handing the ball to the back as, as throwing a pass. So they've had a great off season. I mean, these guys have worked as hard as anyone on our team in terms of their time commitment, uh, their effort and attitude toward our summer program. And they did what we've, I've watched them do every day at practice throughout training camp. So it was no surprise to me. Uh, there are some things that we need to clean up as, as like most positions, uh, but we got two good players and uh, both are good people, good teammates. Uh, and work really hard at it. Defensively, you give up 306 yards and uh, 17 points. Uh, I know there's some work to be done there, but just talk about that unit. Well, defensively, I thought we settled down. You know, we gave up the one big play early, and I think we were able to play lots of players. I think that um, the thing that stood out to me is our effort was good. You know, we still probably a handful of loafs that we like to get rid of, but the big lesson from the game is. We gave them a lot of the yards that they got, you know, and I think overall, not just defense, but in general, it's about uh, the design of the play, the execution of the play, the funda fundamentals and techniques within the play, and really having the integrity to look at that and not necessarily the result. Let's talk about special teams for a moment. Um, I know there's some things that need to get cleaned, but cleaned up there as well, but uh, Kyle Fua comes in and knocks six for six on extra points. You got to be pleased with that. Well, Kyle's been a bright spot in training camp. You know, we really, we were swimming a little bit after Stevie's injury, and, and Kyle has come in here and earned the respect of the staff and the team uh, and certainly performed well. He did a good job on the kickoffs as well. Uh, but in general, special teams, we need to improve some of our processes there. I do think we need to field the ball better. We did tackle the other team inside the 25 times, which was a big deal uh, in the vertical field position of the game. So. We've got improvement, and I think most everybody in this building would agree that they could do their job a little bit better. 
you got to play a lot of players, especially in the fourth quarter. You got some guys off the bench and on the field. Talk about how that benefits you going forward. Well, I think, you know, 40% of this roster is new. Uh, so to be able to play a lot of newcomers was a big deal. You know, and I think the really good teams, they make tons of progress between game one and two. I hope that we'll have a little bit of a compound effect because we have lots of rookies and newcomers on the team as well. Uh, 28,000 plus here Saturday night and on a day where the weather was not that great. So I would imagine you were pr pretty pleased with that. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, our players have been working hard. I think the reception uh, just in my interactions with our fans and our alumni has been positive. I do think that that's one of the things that's great about this job. We can make it very difficult to play here. I think the people in this area have a tremendous amount of pride. And hopefully Saturday they saw that this group is a group that will represent them the right way and play hard and play physical and play with discipline and do things with class. You mentioned the biggest improvement coming from week one to week two. You have a bye week. Uh, what are the plans for the next 14 days? Well, we didn't practice Sunday. We just we ran and lifted them pretty hard. We met with the players, reviewed the film. Um, obviously, Monday is their day off. Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have a little bit of a training camp formatted practice. We're actually going to work on two of our future opponents, uh, and then we'll transition to Mississippi State on Thursday. So. Uh, we've got a good plan. It's, our, it's the typical open date plan that we would use no matter when that date is. Uh, and I look forward to getting some of these things corrected that we need to work on. Well, congrats on the win, Coach. Thanks for joining us. Coming up next on Inside Louisiana Football. its full potential. But sometimes you just can't push through the pain. That's when you know it's time to address it. So when injury puts you on the sidelines, trust us to get you back in the game. Lord Sports Care, the team behind your team. Cuba is just, you know, it's not like Spain, France, and stuff like that. It's Cuba. best thing for us. We're getting the experience against the national team. You know, and to play against a little competition like that, those grown men. Yes. 
No, I can't dance. No. <laughs> It was a blessing, you know, just to go to Cuba, you know, I had a blast. I had a blast. And there's no service out there, no Wi-Fi, so we didn't have phones. So we had to kind of talk and be around each other. And that just brought us closer. Now I'm going, I'm glad we went to Cuba. It was beautiful. They go to another country, play basketball, you know, it's just not an American thing. It's, it's universal and it's crazy how basketball can bring so many people together. Columbus is a really small town, about a little over 3,000 people. Everyone knew everyone where I grew up. I was always the tallest in my grade. I was just the tallest out of everyone, boys, girls. I didn't really let it bother me. I mean, it was a really good thing when it came to sports. I graduated high school a semester early, so I came here in January. I think that was really helpful for me, just getting a head start on everything, like learning the ways, like learning the culture. That just played a big part of my successes in the fall. Once I got confident in myself, like I knew there was nobody that could stop me, that I knew like what I was capable of and what I could do on the court. And so I think that just drove me in a way like to be my best and do my best out there. I think the game against Texas State is really a big one. I know as a team we were ready to go, we were ready to beat them. And I knew that from the start that we were gonna be able to do it. It was just a really awesome time to be a part of. It was a big one for us. I didn't think that an accomplishment like that would happen. But after that, it like really drove me to work even harder and like have that goal in mind. Team goals, we would like to win a Sun Belt Championship and then go to the NCAA tournament. It's gonna take a lot of hard work and for everyone to buy into what we're doing now and everyone to work hard every day at practice. I think we're capable of doing that. Thanks for watching my spotlight. I can't wait to see you at EK Long on September 21st versus UT Arlington. Go Cajuns. Dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate. Hey, 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 to perform, you need speed, skill, strength. With every muscle, every move, you push your body to reach its full potential. But sometimes you just can't push through the pain. That's when you know it's time to address it. So when injury puts you on the sidelines, trust us to get you back in the game. Lord Sports Care, the team behind your team.
the handoff and again now it's Regus to the outside to the 20 15 gets a block at the 10 spins at the five and he's down to the three yard line and first and goal quick tempo hand right up the middle to Regus and, he's and Regus is in touchdown Louisiana to the eight yard line taken there return to the near sidelines and wow oh did anybody get the license number of that pickup truck There's a play fake. Lewis back to throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana. And the Cajuns now have the lead by the score of 21 to 3. And we've still got a minute 40 left to play here in the first quarter. And Regas looked like he was going to be down. And then out of nowhere breaks it open and gets all the way down inside the 20, inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. As that's a 51-yard run. Pass over the middle. Touchdown, Louisiana. Jamarcus Bradley for the touchdown. Guaranteed, but 12 of these a year. We get to go play football in the second half. Let's get excited about doing it. Everybody understand? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, second half. Let's go. Let's stay together, man. That's what it's going to be about the rest of the way. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Zero, zero.
All right, listen to me, okay? Good feeling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, like that. Now listen to me. That was a good start, okay? Get an opportunity to play. We're guaranteed 12 opportunities, right? Okay, well, we need to expect this. Everybody understand that? Yes, this needs to be another day at the park. Everybody got me? Yes, and hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with celebrating, but you gotta learn how to win too. Everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, because days like today, you know, I think there's lots to learn too. The key to the drill here is that we don't get entitled. We don't let this affect who we are, right? As people, right? As teammates, right? Some of you had great days. Everybody, everybody's gonna be telling you how good you are for a week, for two weeks. Everybody understand that? Okay, and hey, that's positive. That's a good thing. But we have to show up and work each day. You gotta play with that same chip on your shoulder. You gotta prepare each day so you can dominate like you did on that field today. There's no doubt, man, you made them tap out, okay? And you were prepared and you did what you were supposed to do. But we have to grow as a team, we have to get better as a team. Here we go, together on three. Together on three. One, two, three, together.